Okay. Here's the next one up for refurbishment. A 7S529. This will be the the fifth one that I will be do will have done when it's completed. Um, finally got a little break today in the weather. It's been colder than you know what here. Um, today is the 30th of December. Uh, it's about 40 degrees out <laughs> at uh, 2 p.m. And uh, I'm going to hope to get started on that on this radio here before the end of the this week. Um, everything about this is going to get get done. Uh, it's got a, a little bit of a, niche, a veneer issue up here, and it's got a, a deep gouge right there, a smaller gouge right there that I'm going to have to, and a little gouging right there. Um, but most of it, there's a serious rubbing right there on uh, on the uh, the tuning uh, knob from uh, fingers rubbing it and everything. Uh, the uh, the veneer looks pretty good on this on this section of the radio. Uh, the full finish looks pretty darn good all the way all the way around. Uh, there is a stress crack right here. Uh, I'm a stress crack right there. I'm guessing somebody bumped it seriously good with with something. It may have been in shipment. But, I don't know. We'll deal with it. Um, this is going to get fiber optics, just like the other ones did. Um, the back of the radio, it at least had... The fascinating thing about the 3529s that I got recently is that they... They all three had their backs <laughs> to them. Usually, uh, most people, uh, they don't survive. Um, but that's okay. Uh, these ratty-looking things are going to come off. I got, I got three newly reproduced ones that I did here uh, that are going to go back on these radios. Um, this one here has not been... It's only been unboxed, and the preliminary pictures taken of all angles of it for posterity' sake. And um, we're gonna take and open it up and pull the chassis out, uh, and take a look and see how what it's what it looks like. Stand by. Okay, we got the chassis out without un being scathed to death um, just dirty on the top on the exterior it ought to clean up pretty good uh, there's not too much uh, issues with the dial face uh, that can be all pretty much touched up the uh the antenna is all intact we'll get it checked out see whether or not there's any opens in any of the loops um the cabinet is fairly good shape inside the speaker looks like it is mostly all there uh, Let's tip this up and see what we got on the inside. It is relatively, completely untouched. So, we're going to get started on that 
this week, hopefully, weather permitting. And uh, we'll make intermittent videos uh, while it's in progress. So stay tuned for all of that stuff. Um, see you on the next one. All right, we have this uh, 529 chassis in on the bench. Finally, uh, today is uh, December 31st. Happy New Year's to everybody. Um, hope you have a safe one and uh, and comfortable one. Um, in the shed now, and I got the little heater going. Um, it's colder than heck out. It's been down to about above 30, uh, uh, high 30s. At night around here, we're probably going to get lower than that tonight. Um, the rain has just started, I uh, hear. Um, we might, if it gets down to much colder, we might have snow laying on the ground, or at least on the mountain anyway. So, okay, back to the chassis. We've got it all pieced together here right now. Uh, got it hooked up to the dim bulb. We're going to check at, check it out and see what it's producing, if anything. And we'll see if this thing's going to squeak at us. So, um, uh, the, the switch is on. I, be, uh, I believe I've got it in the... Um, yeah, I've got it in the uh, broadcast position. Uh, the one thing I, I had noticed here is right there on that band switch detent, you can see which is forward there of these wafer switches, it's missing its marble. It's lost its marbles. So uh, that's okay. Uh, it's slightly bent too. Uh, we can straighten that out and get a new marble in it. So, um, we're going to power it up here and, and see what happens. I've got the, uh, the, the tester on it to test and see if we're getting any B plus out of it. And, uh, here we go. Um. Uh, The lamp came on for a moment. It's pulling 250, 240, 230, 230, 230, 230, 250, 260. We're getting hum out of the speaker. The speaker is speaking. Although it's not legible. Uh, we've got a a slight glow in the blob. We're pulling 310 now. Uh, what are we saying over here? 270. We're all the way up. Let's see if we... nothing so we either got a tube situation we definitely have a capacitor situation but even with a faulty capacitor in there um, we should get a squeak out of it so um, it may be a multitude of things at this point uh, I did not check any of the tubes in this set so that will be the next thing on the thing, and then uh, we will start stripping her down and getting her ready for a cleaning. So uh, let me see what will happen if I spin up the other, two, the other bulb. We're up to 360. Pushing 305. Let's see. If we get anything else uh, 
nothing. Let's see if we can get anything on a different... On a different band. It's sleeping. Okay. So, uh, we got our work cut out for us. So, the next step is to check the tubes out. We'll start checking the uh, IFs and the, uh, and the other major components. Uh, we'll check out uh, the coils and see if everything is copacetic. And we'll go ahead and we'll check the resistors. And then uh, we will clean this thing up and uh, and uh, get her a change of clothes. And then we'll start yanking the caps. So stay tuned for the next episode. You guys have a, a happy new year and a safe one and a cozy one. Hope next year is better for the country. We we certainly deserve it. Thanks for watching.